Colorado, no charges will be filed at this time for the man who drove into protesters at this Elijah McClain protest in July. District Attorney George Brockler says that driver was trying to flee the scene and avoid the crowd and avoid the truck that ran him to, uh, rammed into him. Number 7's Ivan Rodriguez joins us live now with that. And Ivan, the DA says he still wants more evidence and is asking people with pictures or video to come forward. <clears throat> and Shannon, during a press conference today, District Attorney George Brockler laid out what he says is all the evidence and analysis he has on this case. At the end of that, he says he doesn't believe he has enough evidence to get a conviction. I need a couple people on the front line to ask people to put their car in park. <laughs> Elijah McClay. Back in July, protesters started their march at Aurora's Municipal Building and ended up on I-225. And you can see an image here of what's going on. This is northbound over here on the left. This upper one is southbound. As you District Attorney that. George Brockler looks at the evidence before him, he believes the driver was just trying to get out of a tense situation. It's never just what happened, it was what was intended. Here's the DA's timeline. Brockler says when the blue Jeep first got onto the highway, the driver was met with a pedestrian and motorcycle blocking traffic. The driver went around and the motorcycle followed. There's no video until the Jeep approaches protesters. An area, Brockler says, has no visibility because of its elevation. This is the moment a white truck crashed into the Jeep. The truck's driver says he wanted to stop the Jeep from continuing on. Once he's struck by that truck, what would a normal person in that situation do? And if someone back there is watching this on Facebook Live saying, well, I would have stopped and tried to figure out why they hit me. I wouldn't have. That's later followed by gunshots. But Aurora Councilwoman Allison Coombs says the driver could have stopped. Because you see videos of him being slowed down, trying to get around those vehicles. And so if he wanted to stay away from those protesters, I think not charging into them would have been the best course of action. What just happened? There's like a thousand people in front of me. Okay. Uh, no, Take a second. I'm not gonna have you sitting here yelling at everybody. Take a breath. And she's disappointed the DA decided so against here. filing charges, not even reckless driving. My partner's gonna stand here. We have hundreds of community members that have reached out communicating that they were traumatized and that they felt their lives were threatened. And I think that it's extremely problematic that we pick and choose whose trauma matters. Brockler also announced that his office will not charge anyone else who was on I-225 that day in hopes that anyone else with any evidence, be photo, video or, or photographs, may come forward. Live in Centennial, Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.